Well, let's get into the world of business, and we do have uh, some uh, pointers to business stories. Um, well, landmark achievement, uh, talking about the Dangote uh, cement uh, reaching historic 10 trillion naira market cap. Now, this landmark achievement, we hear that Dangote cement has become the first Nigerian company to hit this milestone. That's the 10 trillion naira market cap. Uh, strong performance, uh, share price up 85.2%, YTD. Market cap jumps from 5.451 trillion naira to 10.095 trillion naira. And uh, surpassed giants uh, now holds the top spot after overtaking uh, Airtel Africa and MTN Nigeria. Moving on to the uh, education sector now. Uh, Nigerian Student Loan Fund uh, launches mobile app. Now, government initiative provides interest-free loans for tertiary education through an online application. And the aim of this is to, one, increase access to funding for higher education, streamline process, and eliminate human intervention. A part of the Student Loan Act supports Nigerians in pursuing uh, their academic goals. All right. Uh, to immigration, uh, we, do, we do know, I mean, we, we just talked about Canada uh, implementing new uh, policy restricting students. Well, 35% reduction, uh, two-year cap on study permits has been issued, lowering levels from uh, 2023. Spousal work permits has also been limited. Uh, now, now, only available for spouses of graduate students uh, that are into law and medicine. And also, uh, provincial quotas. Each province allocated fixed permit numbers based on population. All right, so these are business uh, you know, pointers that we have for you at the moment. We'll take a break now. When we come back, we'll be talking entertainment. Stay with us.